Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal, and this week we get yet another development build for the Dragonflight Alpha. And this update comes with a ton of class changes, with many specs seeing a flurry of experimental gameplay adjustments. We also get the Monk update for the Dragonflight Alpha, which includes changes to spells and abilities, and the brand new talent trees. And unlike priests, mages, warriors, and other classic World of Warcraft classes, monks never truly had talent trees before. This class was introduced during Mr. Pandaria, when all of the class talent trees got condensed. This means that this expansion is the perfect opportunity to give monks even more class depth, more hybrid capabilities, and an opportunity to explore new and exciting playstyles. So today, I want to take a closer look at all of the major changes coming to monks so far in this early Dragonflight build. But right before that, most of you guys watching these videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you are reminded, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel as well as to the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get regular updates about the next World of Warcraft expansion of Dragonflight. First of all, I want to take a close look at the basic set of monk abilities. For now, the monk spellbook is currently bugged, but your basic array of combat abilities will include Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, and Spinning Crane Kick. Leg Sweep to stun all foes in a small area. Roll for maneuverability, but with only one base charge. Touch of Death to help you finish off wounded foes, as well as a group utility debuff of Mystic Touch. A basic way to resurrect your allies and catch the enemy's attention with Provoke. Next, let's take a look at the Monk class talent tree, which is shared by all three playstyles. The left portion of the talent tree will mostly focus on healing output, starting out with Soothing Mist, which is natively learned by Mystery Row Monks. Soothing Mist can also gain bonus defensive value while you're channeling. The ability of Vivify can be upgraded to instantly heal your allies, which is going to be incredibly powerful in PvP situations. Timing the ability of Roll Just Right helps you immune all movement suppression effects. And plant down a Jade Statue as a temporary healing sentry. The right side of the talent tree offers a lot of utility bonuses like Spear Hand Strike Intro, which is a brand new bonus for healing monks. You will also find 4 Brew to toughen up your defenses, which can be blended to provide a stronger defensive value or distilled for more defensive uses. Summon a Black Ox Statue to take some of the pressure off of your tank, which can be useful when using content like Mythic Plus Dungeons. However, keep in mind that currently the Monk class tree is a work in progress and will likely see a lot of adjustments going forward. All feedback is crucial during alpha development. So be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. What portions of the talent tree are you excited for? And which parts should receive another pass of changes in the comments below? Next, I want to take a close look at the Windwalker Monk. And for now, Windwalkers get the chance to amplify different parts of the damage and abilities to create their own unique playstyle. Blackout Kick can be buffed to cleave multiple targets, with every kick buffing the damage of your next spell. You could also fire off blackout kicks in quick succession when stacking Tiger Palm. The ability of Fist of Fury can become even deadlier with simple damage amps, bonuses to help refund resources further emboldened with every single kick. The ability of Spinning Crane Kick continues to eviscerate entire dungeon packs with the dance of Chi Ji buffing it greatly. The Shadowlands ability of Bonda's Brew helps it synergize in AoE situations and Calculated Strikes will bolster its overall damage output. Invoke the Celestial of Zuen to assist you in combat, shocking your targets with Empowered Tiger Lightning, while buffing your haste for maximum burst output. Bring out the Fury of Zuen with your Fists of Fury, and help reduce his downtime with Zuen's Bond. Finally, we see the Legion Artifact Weapon ability Strike of the Windlord make a return, a powerful blast that smites all targets in front of you. Next, I want to take a close look at the Brewmaster Monk. Before diving into the Brewmaster talents, however, we should first talk about the basic tank mitigation of Stagger, which may have seen adjustments in Dragonflight. Currently on the Alpha, Stagger allows you to shake off a portion of physical damage taken in order to help you offset certain death and become more sturdy. However, the new Stagger effect on the Development Realms no longer affects magic damage whatsoever, 
which could potentially make Brewmasters a lot less durable going forward. It's also very possible that this is simply a tooltip error, and monks are still meant to shrug off magic damage as well as physical. Hopefully, over the next few days, we get more clarification regarding the class design going forward. The Spec of Brewmaster is able to specialize into a fiery playstyle, with Celestial Flames helping to spread Breath of Fire, as well as tools to help reset the CD of Breath of Fire altogether. Make your flames even deadlier the more damage you are able to stagger, or ignite the monk altogether to create a spinning fiery tornado. You also get a lot of talents to help you fortify your brews, with cooldown reduction bonuses from offensives like Tiger Palm and evasive maneuvers, while downing healing tonics in combat. Increase your martial prowess with talents like Counter Strike, empower Black Gut Kick with talents like Shadow Boxing, Fluidity of Motion and Talent of Shocking Blow. Two Shadowlands Covenant abilities make a return, with Bone Does Brew and Weapons of Order to help empower your monk playstyle even further. Finally, I want to take a close look at the Mistweaver monks. And for now, Mistweavers are mostly split into two distinct playstyles, one part a ranged healer supporting their allies from a distance with soothing mists and the other a melee-focused Fistweaver that weaves healing and damage as one. Soothing Mist can buff the absorb value of Life Cocoon, make your healing effects even more effective, buff the value of periodic helpful effects, and even support a secondary target for half the effectiveness. On the other hand, Fistweaver monks get access to very familiar Shadowlands bonuses, letting them focus on damage while supporting their allies and in Dragonflight Fistweavers can reduce the cooldown of Chi G, a powerful celestial summon that complements a more aggressive playstyle option with impactful burst healing, giving Fistweavers a more effective way to safely respond to group-wide damage. And two covenant abilities return from the Shadowlands, Feline Stomp to heal and damage targets in front of you, and Bone Dust Brew to amplify all healing and damage for bonus shadow value. And for now, that's gonna be everything we got when it comes to Class of Monk and all of the brand new updates for this current early Dragonflight build. It's worth mentioning that the Dragonflight Alpha is still in its early testing, and monks will likely receive a variety of changes based wholly on the community feedback. So be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about the early version of monks in the Dragonflight Alpha? What are your thoughts on the individual talent options for Woundwalker? Brewmaster, and Mistweaver. As per always, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and a live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video update or discuss these recent class changes with the rest of the channel community. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.